Well, it's an exciting time where we get to transport ourselves off the land to all the wonderful places around the world to explore and broaden our horizons. Uh, just the girls today, and I'm so l- love having Kath Gerbich from House of Travel in Hi. studio. Hi. And what are we going to talk about today? Coach travel uh, well, and hosted touring, tours. Touring, touring, touring. I, I don't like to w- use the word coach because it's smelly buses. It's smelly buses, and, and, and it's just a means to an end. It's not the experience you get when you're on holiday but it's 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 a fun thing and it's it's for anybody that wants to enjoy a destination without having the hassles of everything else Mm. and so no matter who you are there's something for everybody and years ago years ago it was like 30 days 15 countries it was like boom 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 like a revolving door now it's all changed and so now there's anything from like Paris to Rome or like you can go and take the train from Rome Florence and Venice and it's part of a coach tour you know so Mm. it's really changed so it's really important that you talk to a house of travel consultant about what sort of holiday you want and then if it fits in with a tour then great and um and and then you just work it from there so yeah Yeah, I mean this day and age the consumer is all about customizing an experience for myself yes and and having someone curate something unique for you isn't it so yes. so I mean in these hosted tours um, is there a freedom to sort of pick a mix not so much pick a mix but the companies nowadays when you say unique experiences they've really picked up on that mm. and now they're thinking okay what can we do to make this an experience, not a trip or a holiday. And so nowadays these companies that have like little mini buses that take 14, 15 people and they do little back road tours so you're not on the highways anymore. Mm. You've got companies that that's back roads and then you've got Trafalgar who do things like if you visit the Vatican in the end, in the afternoon on one of their tours, you stay there and you eat dinner at the Vatican. You cool. can't do that with anybody else. So, and they do things like cooking classes in the middle of the Amalfi, or um, in Croatia, Insight Vacations take you out to this um, guy who has does all the oyster farming off the coast. And you go out on a barge and you drink wine and you eat oysters that have just been pulled up from the ocean. Stop it, Kath. Oh, that I sounds know. just like me. Oh, my goodness. No, but this is, the, this is the thing. As you're reading these things, it says, you know, exclusive wine tasting with the winemaker and, and you you feel special. And that's yeah. what it's about, isn't it? Yeah, and that, that's what's changed. It used to be you'd roll on up and there'd be like five coaches that – sit 50 people in each you know in the car park and you think how are we going how is this exclusive but nowadays they fight hard to find these this exclusive experience for you even like Chateau Neuf de Pape and going for wine tasting you'll be the only ones in there so it's it's they're really clever and they've had to evolve because as you said we've evolved mm. And our demands as our consumers. Demand. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So you don't want to eat in a big restaurant with every other coach tour company that's in, in there. So they're trying to find little restaurants. And I did a um, Trafalgar tour a few years ago and we were in the countryside in France. They pulled up to a farmhouse and offloaded us and we were in their big dining room and the chef was like from me to your way in his kitchen cooking dinner, him and his daughter. So... And yeah. it's amazing experiences these days. What about, you know, tips for getting the most out of a tour? Um, you've really got to do, sit down and think about where you want to go, where you want to stay. For instance, if Venice is really important to you, look for a tour that stays on the island of Venice, not on the mainland. Look mm. for, if, if you don't want to spend one night or two nights in a place, look for someone like Albatross that can spend maybe two to five nights in a place. If you don't like big groups, look for something that actually suits you. So it's really important that you talk to your house of travel consultant and say to them, I don't like this, what can I do to suit? Because there's, you know, you might want to discover Tuscany, but you don't want to drive on, in the roads in Tuscany. But there's a tour that will actually allow you to do that, stay in the same place and go out every day. So it's really important that you're honest about what you want out of a holiday so that we can actually best fit that holiday to you. Okay, here's a goodie. You got the uh, the Southland sheep farmer walks in with the uh, cultured wife, and they have different needs. How yes. do you deal with that? Again, it's, it's sorry, Southland sheep farmers. I know no. you're uncultured, <laughs> but you can because 
somebody like a Southland sheep farmer might not, I don't want to go into another church. Yes. You know, I don't want to go into a museum. They want to find the nearest cafe. And but he wants to keep beer. her happy because otherwise the holiday's going to be. Which is oh, ideal. Terrible. Exactly, because she can go off and do that with other people yes. because you're in a tour. So there's other people for you to talk to, other people for you to enjoy things with. And he can sit in a cafe and I bet you he's not the only guy on that trip that wants to sit and have a beer and watch the world go by. I bet he's not. So there's always someone to do something with, which is nice. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I mean, for a travelled woman like yourself, Kath, um, are you running out of things on your bucket list? No, the bucket list gets bigger. Oh, it no. doesn't get smaller. But it's things like, like for me, if I was going to do a tour now, I'd look at something like the southern states of America because the his, I love history. Mm. So if I did it on my own, I could drive right past the battlefield or right past a little village that's really important to the American history. Whereas if you're on a tour, you get all of that. Mm. And you've got Americans usually on board with you and they know a lot more than you. Mm. So they add to that whole experience. So, yeah. So I'd do something like that or maybe Morocco or somewhere where I'm a little bit iffy about going on my own. Mm. Now, I, I must say I've actually signed up to a hosted tour um, and to Nashville next year. Now, I've been to Nashville, yeah. and I would go with friends, but just at that, you know, you're in your 30s, everybody's got other priorities, and so I thought, well, bugger, I'll go myself. Yeah. Um, it'll be with like-minded people, and that's what I think is, is great about this, is that you're in a like-minded environment um, for tours, and it's not really that scary it's after not, a while. No, and you meet friends that you might do again and it's just so nice at the end of the day because I travel a lot on my own but at the end of the day when you've been to somewhere like Nashville to sit and be able to have a drink or dinner with people without feeling that you're you know Nigel no mates in the middle of the restaurant is really nice. And someone to make sure that you're at there at the airport on time, which is quite <laughs> handy for me when my brain is running in a million di- different directions at yeah. all times. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Kath, it's so fantastic having you in. Um, and, of course, if you're thinking about anything uh, travel, make sure you talk to our fantastic friends at House of Travel. Uh, Kath, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, and after the break, we are going to be talking across the world as well, but in this time around trade. Uh, The EU and the UK are looking at dividing up New Zealand's meat quota. We'll speak to Esther Guy Meakin from Beef and Lamb New Zealand after the break around uh, our concerns of why this is not right. Radio Live Rural Exchange. 